This is the aftermath of a head-on collision. And these two locomotives are in bad shape. They're sitting on a Norfolk Southern siding in Rome, Georgia. BNSF 6746 has the most damage. You can see twisted metal on the front of the engine and bent handrails on the side. Meanwhile, NS 9867, its headlight still on, is not looking great either. Both engines are covered in coal. To explain why, we have to go around four miles south to Lindale, Georgia. Here, hopper cars are on the ground and coal is everywhere. So what exactly happened to cause so much damage? Well, here's what the Floyd County Police Department posted on its Facebook page early in the morning on Saturday, September 10th, 2022. Railroad crossings in Lindale will be closed for an extended period while Norfolk Southern investigates an incident that caused two trains to collide at around 4.15 a.m. Okay, here's my understanding of what happened, and I'm getting this information from sources who I consider to be trustworthy. Coal hoppers were derailed in this area. This northbound intermodal train hit them. Its lead unit, that's the BNSF engine that we saw at the beginning of this video, then somehow broke free and continued north, ultimately striking a stopped train head-on in Rome, Georgia. As for injuries, I'm not 100% sure. Let's keep in mind that there were human beings out here and not just machines. Let's just hope everyone is okay. Now, I started recording this footage around 12.30 p.m. on Saturday. By the time I got here, crews had already made a lot of progress cleaning this up. You can see one hopper on its side and what looks like the remains of another one. Excavators are hard at work scooping coal into dump trucks. I saw some of that coal being dumped about two miles north of here. Back in Lindale, these guys are sucking the coal off the right-of-way with vacuum trucks. You can also see piles of fresh ballast ready to go. Not far away, this BNSF power is also covered in coal. BNSF 6789 was one of the engines pulling the intermodal train. Now the coal hoppers at this scene are marked with RWSX. They were going south to Georgia Power's Robert W. Shearer plant in Juliet, Georgia. These massive coal trains originate out west in Wyoming's Powder River Basin. They're so long and heavy, unmanned, radio-controlled locomotives known as distributed power units are needed in the middle of the train. All right, I'm sure there are still several questions about this incident that I have not answered in this video. Railroads report the findings of their investigations to the Federal Railroad Administration. As soon as those findings are released, I'll post them in the description of this video. As always, thanks for watching.